collision practice problems. In this presentation, I'm going to go through two different practice problems, uh, one elastic, one inelastic, and then I will leave you off with a couple of practice problems that you can try on your own that we will go through in class. So for this one, we have a hockey puck that is moving at this velocity, striking an octopus that is at rest, that's thrown onto, onto the ice. The puck and the octopus slide off together, find their velocity. Since they slide off together, we know that this is going to be a fully inelastic collision. And so we can use our equation of m1 plus m2 times vf is equal to m1 v0 1 plus m2 v0 2. And so now we just need to plug things into the equation. So we can say our hockey puck is going to be our first mass and our octopus will be our second mass. And so we can say 0.105 plus 0 0.260 times VF, which is what we're looking for, is equal to 0 0.105 times 35 plus 0 0.260 times 0, since it's at rest. And so when you start to work this out, you should get this is equal to Point th uh, sorry, three point six seven five. So let me go and erase that. Three point six seven five, and this should be point one oh five plus point two six point three six five. So point three six five VF. So our VF is equal to 10.1 meters per second. And there you go. So this will be a for a fully inelastic collision. For the second problem, we have a canoe that is going to the left at 12 and a half meters per second. It makes an elastic head-on collision with a 14 kilogram raft moving to the right at 16 meters per second. After the collision, the raft moves to the left at 14.4 meters per second, disregard any effects of the water. Find the velocity of the canoe after the collision. And so, when we work this out, we can say our canoe is going to be our first mass, and the raft will be our second mass, and so our m1 is equal to 16 kilograms, our m2 is equal to 14 kilograms, should be 16.0. Our V01 is equal to 12.5 meters per second. Now here's where we have to be careful. This is going to the left and one is moving to the right. We need to remember that momentum is a vector quantity, so we need to take the direction into account. And so it's going to be typically easier to say to the right is positive, so our V01 is going to be negative, and our V02 will be positive at 16.0 meters per second. And so since, since this is fully elastic, we can use the equation m1 v f1 is equal, uh, sorry, plus, plus m2 v f2 is equal to m1 v not 1 plus m2 v not 2. And we just start plugging in the values that we have, and we have 16 times... VF1, which is what we're looking for, plus 14 times, and our final velocity here, for the raft is negative 14.4 meters per second. So times negative 14.4 is equal to 16 times negative 12.5 plus 14 times 16. And so when you start to work this out, you should get this part is equal to 24, and we get negative 201.6, and we get 16 VF1. 
So 16 VF1 is equal to 205, uh, sorry, 225. So 225.6. So that must mean our VF1 is equal to 14.1 meters per second. And there you go. The way to check a problem that is fully elastic is to also check the kinetic energy. And so when you work this out, if this is what you find, and you know this is a fully elastic collision, you can use your 1 half mv squared equation and plug it in, and you should be able to get the same kinetic energy before and after. And using that equation, you could actually solve for your VF1 as well. So for both regular and advanced, I want you to try to work this problem out on your own. See if you can figure out what type of problem this is, and then see if you can get both of these answers. For advanced, see if you can find this answer for fully elastic and fully inelastic. Just so you know, the fully elastic portion will be more difficult than the fully inelastic, but give both a try.